Hi guys, it's Lita. So, um, first of all, I got rid of my undercut. It's it's totally now hidden. Can't tell where it is. Haha. <laughs> um, and second of all, I am totally wearing my boyfriend's um, night shift t-shirt for Denny's. If you haven't been to Denny's, you should totally go because it's cool. Actually, I don't really like Denny's, but still, I'm just wearing it because I'm a total creep and just, I like it. Um, so anyway, I kind of wanted to have like a little conversation about like games since I've been, I haven't, I haven't really made a video about any games for a really long time. Um, but I've been starting to play a lot more lately. Like I actually was on break from playing WoW f uh, from like December 22nd or something like that. I hadn't played WoW or even signed in. Yeah, that's almost unbelievable, but it's true. And so I signed in for the first time yesterday and got myself that gorgeous little dragon that just came out, the heart of the aspects. And oh my god, I can't even, it was like the feeling of like adding that mount to my collection was just like the feeling of being born again. And that's how great it was. And if you guys haven't seen the Heart of the Aspects mount yet, it looks kind of like this, but only like way better. Um, and so, yeah, I, yeah, and yeah, World of Warcraft. I'm totally like falling asleep now, if you, right now, if you can't already tell. So I'm trying to like wake myself up as I'm making this video. But anyway, so that's all I kind of wanted to say about. World of Warcraft was the Heart of the Aspects mount that is just so jizz worthy that I can't even, that word doesn't even begin to cover, like, how uberly sexy that mount is, because it's just, oh, I can't even, I don't even want to speak of it anymore. That's how, that's how sexy it is. Um, also, my boyfriend is the best boyfriend in the world, and for Valentine's Day he got me uh, two two of those giant cups from AMPM, um, uh, the Deathwing one and the Illidan Storm Rage one, um, and then he got me uh, all of the Lord of the Rings games for PS2, like uh, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, Return of the King, and the Third Age one, that which I hadn't even played uh, before yesterday, and like. I kind of liked the Third Age, uh, except it was just like the play style of it was just like way slower for me than like what I'm used to. But I mean, it's cool. It, I didn't get very far in it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and play more. And um, as for the Two Towers, whoa. Okay, I used to play those games all the time when I was younger, and I hadn't played them for a really long time, and so yesterday. I like popped in Fellowship of the Ring and I was like, yeah, Frodo or the Shire, blah, blah, blah. And then like, right after I finished all my Shire quests, they were like, okay, don't get caught by a Ring Wraith. And I was like, oh, it's no big deal. I don't really have to worry about it. If I get caught by a Ring Wraith, I'll be given another chance. But I got caught by a Ring Wraith and he was just like, give me the ring. And then it was like, you had to give the ring to the Ring Wraith and you, the world's going to blow up and stuff. And then it made me start over like the entire game. So I got really, I got really pissed off. <laughs> And so I just popped in two towers, and that was going really well, and I was just like, yeah, Legolas is like hella rockin' and stuff like that, because I always play Legolas. You know, the dual wield stuff. Totally down for that. And so, like, I got to Fangorn Forest, and I was just like, yeah, I'm rockin'. <sighs> then I got to that troll, that burst troll, and I died about 400,000 times because he's an asshole and I hate that troll and I got so freaking mad and like seriously I was about to just like bust into Hulk mode like totally honestly I was about to and um then I finally beat him and I was like oh my god I am a goddess and cuz it was just like the most ridiculous most victorious thing I've ever ever done was beating that freaking troll and then I got to the next scene and like killed those little orcs and I was just like la 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 I'm doing great I'm gonna I'm gonna get through Fangorn Forest no problem and then I roll into this cave and all of a sudden this like other troll rolls out and I had like that much life left and like no health potions had dropped anywhere and so I was like oh my god please don't make me start over and so like I accidentally got killed by that freaking second troll in the cave that stupid I'm not even gonna finish my sentence.
But turns out that it killed me and then it made me start over at the first freaking troll. And so I just rage quit and plug pulled and screamed and just almost killed everybody in the room. So that's my story for, for Lord of the Rings Two Towers. And then I just didn't play anything until today. <clears throat> Because that would have been really unsafe. So yeah, my arm is getting like really tired because I'm holding this camera up with my my little weak appendages. Someone told me on Twitter like two days ago that they had um, a dream that I was I was like a lobster lady, uh, and that I had like lobster appendages and stuff, and that I was you know like claws and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, I painted my nails like pokeballs again. They look like <laughs> kind of like crap, but that's okay. But yeah, she, she told me I, she had a dream about me being like a lobster lady, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. It's very strange, you know. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much, and um, there's a surprise coming next week, just so you know. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, though, because it's obvious it's a surprise, so I can't tell you. Okay, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed my um, insight on... Uh, Lord of the Rings and World of Warcraft mount. Okay, I love you guys. Bye!